Hello and welcome to the STB Racing League Season 21 Tier 2 World Championship. We're here for Round 4 at the Miami Grand Prix. Uh, yesterday we had our first ever Miami Grand Prix. It was a pretty interesting one at that. Matt, welcome to Miami. What can we expect from this circuit? It's a very kind of um, technical section, especially Sector 3 as Focaccia has, or Focaccia rather, has a uh, span out proceedings here in Miami. Now, what can we expect here from the newest track on the Formula One calendar? Obviously, new track, obviously, new things to learn, obviously, racing lines, obviously, just generally get your pace up, confidence up. Obviously, it's a street circuit effectively as well, that's kind of not, uh, to be honest. Uh, but there's obviously a lot of barriers we need to be careful of, and obviously, there's quite a few curbs here that can catch you out as well. So that's also a thing to keep your hands on. And it's always, there's a few corners here which can really catch you out. So you also need to be careful of that. So it's, yeah. it's going to be interesting to see how they uh, how they actually race around here. Whether anyone's actually done a league race here yet. It'll be interesting to see how they, uh, how they, how they do here. Yes. Uh, obviously, Matt, we started our cross play yesterday. I was very happy with how it went. Uh, your race wasn't that incredible. It yeah, was very that, unlucky. Not yeah, um, I, I, I initially I thought it was an actual to me just drove into the back of me down the straight, but I think it was he was lagging on my screen, but no one else from no one else from apart from him for him, for, it was just me that's lagging. But like you say in the stream, it looked perfectly fine, and for me it was perfectly fine. Uh, yeah. He wasn't lagging for me, so I don't know what was that about. Whether it is something to do with cosplay or it's just a host thing, I don't know. Well, there's a horse well, span in the second sector. Happen, yeah. yeah, that should be sorted for next week anyway. There shouldn't really be too many problems. Yeah. Well, there's uh, only many techs here. So, and Jepo, 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 Interesting stuff. Talk about interesting stuff. Shaw is nine times up in the second sector. But, uh, Drapo will be starting uh, from the last on the grid. As Shaw is going to come around the final corner. It's going to be a 28-4. Put in P10. A lot of curb and entry to that last corner. That was. See then, for Physico is down. Jerry has spun out the. Yeah, he's gone in the pits. Yeah. He spun around the final corner there. He was uh, 600 just down this lap, so he wasn't really going to improve, but he's definitely going to lap there. That's Salvador, six temps up. Physico is coming across the line, Aldi. Unless I was coming to the pits. Never mind. Puts him into P8 there. Not too bad, um, but Matt. Krago F1 puts him up, puts himself up in a P6. That is his best qualifying STB today in Tier 2. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what Krago is going to do. Uh, he's definitely someone, Matt, that is um, been consistent. Apart from last race in Australia, he was picking up, um, I believe, it was two fifth-place finishes. So he's been very consistent in terms of his, his pace. Um, Matt, uh, Viewers that raced last week uh, will see that we've got PYA Matex in the league here this evening. He's currently racing on PC. I don't ask me what happened, guys. Salvador has got a grid drop, so that's interesting stuff. But, uh, yeah, Matex um, has gone over to PC. Something about problems with his Xbox or something, I don't know. But it's still incredible, the fact that we can still have him in the league, uh, even though he is racing on PC, Matt. Uh, what did you um, think of the PC drivers uh Matt yesterday. Well, obviously, apart from that issue we had yesterday with Kevin, uh, apart from that, it seemed fine. To be honest, didn't see any issues. To be honest, it seemed clean. Didn't seem fine. Nothing really went wrong or anything like that. Mm. It was just apart from that one with Kevin. I don't I don't see other issues with it. So for now, it looks fine. Apart from that one incident, which is a bit questionable. But there's only one PC driver here today. So sh sh even if it was an issue, there's a chance of it happening. It's quite low with only one driver. Yeah, and he is on pole position, but he obviously was so, second in Australia yeah. last week. So his pace hasn't hasn't got you know it hasn't um, improved or deteriorated uh, deteriorated that much. Now, Matt, apparently, according to one of the drivers, uh, rain is expected in this Grand Prix. What's rain going to do if we do have it? How's that going to shake things up here in Miami? I mean, it is raining. It's pouring down the rain. Uh, obviously, I think it's told it was going to happen later in the race, but actually, it's raining now. Oh, is obviously, it? This is gonna space. Oh my it is raining right now. God! It's pouring down of rain. It is oh, pouring. Oh, this will be interesting. It is this pouring. Will be, uh, this looks like full wet conditions, Maldi. This is uh, Hurricane Maldi. We've had Hurricane Katrina be, in Florida. It's going to be... We've had... It's going to be... Um, 
extreme wet conditions, I think. We've had tires, Matt, I think, for this race. We've had Matt, we've had Hurricane Katrina, we've had Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Maldi is now ready to dominate proceedings here in Miami for tier two. Hurricane Maldonado, I think it's something. Hurric no, Hurricane Maldi is banging. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we're here at the Hard Rock, Hard Rock Stadium. Uh, the race in real life, I said this yesterday on the, on the stream, it wasn't, like in real life, it wasn't that great. But tier one yesterday really did give us some great racing. Uh, it was very clean on the first lap. I don't know if that's going to be the case tonight, Matt. It is pouring down. It's going to be very difficult. It is going so, to be very difficult with that twist section. You know what turn three is like. It catches drivers out. It catches people out on the dry. In the wet, it's just going to test that, that ten times more than it already is. So it's going to be difficult. And obviously, I don't think many people have done wet around here yet. It's because it's a brand new track. So it's going to be difficult. I'm especially, especially that twist section. Just when you, before you go underneath the highway, that twist chicane. That's going to be very difficult to navigate. And it is four wet tyres, Maldi. Four wet tyres then. But to be fair though, Matt, is this the first ever wet race we've had in the league this season? I think it is, yes. I don't remember. Really Rain is a lot easier to manage. Either. Rain is a lot easier to manage on this game. It's a lot it's a lot better to drive than on uh twenty twenty one. It's a lot more generally I think it's a little bit more stable, but it, obviously with the traction I think it's a bit generally a bit more difficult. But if you can get around that, it's actually pretty easy. It's not, it doesn't, the car doesn't feel as floaty as it did before. Yeah. Uh, uh, floaty. Uh, but yeah. Um, it, it's just it's just a bit more understeer, which it should be, to be honest. I don't know what happened, Matt, with um, Draper. He starts P18 on the grid, disqualification. Had the pace yeah, for the front row, but unfortunately he did get I, disqualified. I did, I did, when he disqualified, I saw one yard dot, one, one white dot, but I was going through six and one, but I saw another one going through. Um, just after the little tight chicane and it wasn't moving at the time so whether he was trying to let people through and he just let one a bit too slow and then just didn't speed up quickly enough because sometimes even if you do speed up it doesn't go straight away the timer when you've been slow for too long and i think he might have been caught up by it in the end but i don't know why he's slowing down there though he had the whole straight to let people pass yeah well i'm sure it, i'm sure he'll still give us a, a great race here in in miami uh may text them He's on pole position, uh, but it was only just uh, under a tenth quicker than EXR, Jeremy and Physico. So we've still got some great drivers in this tier two. Not as competitive as yesterday, Matt, must say. Shout out to Modesto Meza, that, Mena. That was a great um, performance from him yesterday. What's with the gaps? Matex is going for the last corner for the hairpin. We've got Jerry's well behind him. And Krago is way behind, but now it's only the gap and now... Gutcher's like, I don't know, I don't know. head of Cargo. I don't know. Maybe the drivers, some drivers want to try and, I don't know, see how the track feels in the wet. I, I don't know. As you said, Matt, not a lot of people have done the wet conditions. This is probably the first lap that they've done it in Cargo spinning. I think that's to warp his tyres, though, more than anything. Wet tyre warp shouldn't be too much of an issue in the wet because the tyres obviously naturally run at quite low temperatures anyway. But obviously, you still need some sort of warm up. But it's no it's no one is important. Right then. Slicks. Well I'll tell you summer, Tom Crox is starting directly on top of a puddle. So that's gonna be a great stuff for him. If if the physics are that realistic on this game. Uh, but Matt, uh talking about uh realism oh, and no. all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, people Who is gonna win? Forget about the realism, forget about the brain, who is gonna win this race? I'm going to say Matex, if you can get Here the we go then, around. it's four lights, it's five lights, and we are starting the Miami Grand Prix. No, we're not. Delay start. We're going back to the usual. Back to the Here we go. Days. Back to F1 2021. There it is. Right, oh, and away out. they go. Here we fucking go. Great start there from Matex. Physico gets off to a good start as well. He's past Joey. But Joey side by side. Now let's look at Krago, Matt, because he's in a lot of... And he's been um, sandwiched there into sandwiched turn one. Oh, the collision with two Alpha Towers. There's been LP. a crash. Shari's out. Shari's been spun out on the first lap of the Grand Prix. Um, Drapo's picked up two positions. And there's a, there's a Mercedes off. There's a Mercedes! That's Alex Turr. That's Alex Turr getting involved in a massive amount of contact down into the, uh, the section. And Krago's going side by side, side with uh, Focaccia here as they come through the first sector. Krago's lagging a little bit here and there's an Aston Martin span. This goes round. They are really struggling in these wet conditions here and Krago's trying to get the move done. I think that's Villain free wide down the straight, Matt. Cooking. I lost a few positions here. I think he's had a bit of a moment out, out of the, that tight left-hander. Now there's a few places there. Oh, as Tufilo is trying to fight off him. 
And Fisico and Toman are going side by side as they come through the second sector now down that uh, back straight. It's been a very chaotic start, Matt, to this to this Grand Prix as Crooken's going to go around the outside now of Focaccio as they come uh, through the second sector. He's it. got the Alpine behind him as well of Tiafilo and Rooster's going to follow him through as well. Got to be all single filers. Clever Fever hasn't been very... Ready. That's not very clever there from, from Clever. He's picked up a penalty on the Perfect. first lap. That's not a good bit of a... On Crooken. The... Well, he's got so much better traction. Hey, look at Crooken's pace down the straight. He's got past Focaccio as they come down the straight, mate. Here we go. Just he's into P7. He's in a P7 he's there. Out but uh, yeah, Crago. He's completely out traction there. Matt, Lord, look at what. Traction to be crucial. Watch out for Crago, because he's on it at the minute. P5, great start. With yeah, Hexa, 153.8. All they're all going side by side around this section of circuit. Danny. We've got DJ Danny really struggling to get that car. He's usually good in the wet, Matt. He's not showing that pace here in the Aston Martin. Looks like the Avatar is going very defensive on the McLaren. That's Salvador. Very tentative there on the exit of that corner. And now we've got Toman. Toman side by side with Drapo as they come through the first sector. We've got Zalvi. Jerry. Jerry's out. He's spun it. He's still got his front wing, but he's obviously spun it out of turn three. And that's going to be. Side with Tiafilo. That's Tiafilo there up to P7. He's had a good start, Matt. You usually see him at the back of the grid, but he's done a great job. And Matex now is really going to be in full command now of this race, I think. Vilan has gained 10 places. And he might lose another one, though, to his teammate, Krago, as they come down the straight. Here we go, side by side. Christian Horner's going to be shitting his pants as they come down into the corner. And Krago is in P4. I think anyone's running a bit high downforce would be loving this right now. Uh, Krago's actually running a bit low downforce. He's running like 8-something. So he's running quite low downforce. But he's still looking like quite, not too bad for him. Yeah, but he's looking... got a bit of a gap now to the leaders. Yeah, he's looking decent. Very good, but for Cotcher's looking very quick on the back of Elam. And Joey's going to get involved as well. Tom Cox has got some very good pace in this race at the moment. Keeping that gap to Matex. Yeah, just make sure as long as it doesn't cock it, cox it up. Be good. And you've got Rayco now trying to get past uh, Salvador, but he's under pressure from the Aston Martin of Physico. And he's under pressure And from... Joey's up the inside of Tiafilo. Up the inside into the hairpin, and he's got the move done. That was a very nice move by... Alpha Romeo. I think driver. Tom Cox, Matt, is using very low wings. He's gained about eight temps in the second sector. We've got some action going on the back here. We've got Physico, Reiko, and Drapo. And now we've got Your Shari. That's, that's Shari Tamer. again. Oh, and no, that's my man. That's Dra Drapo has just spun it out of the last corner. Was that on his own? Uh, yeah. And Alex Tur is in the pits. As his front wing has been terminated. I believe it has. It's been what? Sorry, it's been terminated. That's, <laughs> that's a new word. Oh, <laughs> um, we've got it's some Aston. action going on here. We've got the the two Aston Martins and Tia Filo going uh, look close for comfort there through the first two sections. Tia Filo's lost a lot of places. He's obviously he's lost about ten places. So I don't know what's going on there. Look at these Aston Martins. They're looking very close. Yeah, just like in real life. At yeah, the back and slow. Oh, and oh, that oh, Shari span again. Shari. Yeah, Shari is not. Something. Yeah, Shari, uh, I think he's going to be retiring from this Grand Prix. I think, I think to race, I think he needs that ability to race in all conditions, and I think I don't think he has that. I think. This is yeah, safety car. We have car, got virtual. virtual safety car here yeah. in. There's, don't, there's no safety Miami. car. Miami. I'm seeing the map. I was about to say Saudi Arabia then. I think VLN is just span. I think because Fakatsu's just got a position on him. Crazy start. Crazy if start to this race. If I didn't know how to say Fukaka's name properly, I'd probably say Fukaka. But yeah. I say Fukaka C, I will. But you can't. Fukaka. We can't Fukaka. say this. We can't say that on the stream, guys. We'll get uh, demonetized. We don't earn any money. We don't earn any money from these. And. Uh, Sorry, I think he's got a penalty just to make it worse. Yeah. He's, he's, oh, oh, and Joey's on the inside of VLAN. Oh, we're getting back racing, Matt. Sorry that they caught me lacking. Just, just like Joey caught Vila napping there on the restart. We need to wake up, and the oh. the Williams is very, Kocha. very wide there for Koch. Very wide through there, and that's going to definitely be damage for the Williams driver. I think there was some uh, sort of, no, of problems. Me. Oh no, it's side by side, and Vila's ghosting. Yeah, Vila's really. Ghosting? Yeah, Vila's struggling with that back end. 
McLaren's up the inside. Watch out for it. Oh, no, that's definitely that's damage now to Focaccia. Oh. He's struggling with understeer. Yeah, we he's, he's definitely... He's, 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 he's fucked up. He did flick off that. He has fucked that yeah, completely. He, he's, he's struggling with more understeer now because he's, he's got front ring damage. He's got the pip. Uh, and Alex Turs span to. again. Great stuff there from the Mexican. That's what we love to see. Mm. Pardon me. Nice helicopter shot. Uh, Matt, I think we've got the same sort of scenario with as Alex Turs retired. Right. That's going to be a safety car thing. Or oh, he's in the pit lane, no, actually. It's, it's in the pit lane. Um, what I was going to say, so yeah, yesterday we had Sem and Mena. Um, Sem was able to keep up down the straights. He gained a good bit of time down the straights. Uh, so I think it's going to be the same kind of thing because Tom Cox did gain around about eight tenths last lap on Matex. So we'll see how the uh, gaps are looking down here. He is losing time actually down this straight as Salvador, Salvador penalty, picks up a penalty there. But we'll just we'll just see. But Matex is definitely my favourite for this win at the moment. He's in full command. Um, his rivals have been making mistakes, so it's kind of put him in a good position. But Crago, Matt, running very well, and Crookens up to P6 there. He's got past VLM. All I'm going to say is welcome to the 10 viewers who are currently watching right now. 10? Hello, 10 people. Welcome to Miami. Hearing my beautiful voice as the uh, Alpine's going to pit lane. Danny. It has da is Danny, uh, has Danny got damage Inters? or is Danny going Inters? for a butter move on intermediates? Inters. We're going to find out in the next few seconds. 3, 2, 1. McLaren have got Inters out. Inters. And is. Danny yeah, is onto a set of intermediates. Here we fucking go. Salvador's in. Physico's in. Um, so let's see how they're going to do on those tyres. Could be a big advantage, mate, in these conditions if it is the up to time. And Tobin's trying to get the move done on Rayco as they come through the first sector, but you can't get the move done just yet. Watch out, those interviews are going to be a bit sketchy for the few laps. They're going to be a little bit cold and maybe a little bit too wet yet. For them yet. So we'll see. Yeah, the uh, track is. just a bit now. The track is pretty wet, isn't it, Matt? So. Yeah, but it's the light rain though. That's the thing. When it starts to go into light rain, it just suddenly becomes uh, obviously the wet's only really working really wet conditions. But the intermediate's still working pretty wet conditions, and obviously in very drying conditions as well. So the intermediates have a quite a wide range of a working range, where the wets are quite limited and they start overheating quite quickly. Yeah, so we're gonna find. Yeah, we're gonna find out if those tyres are the ones to be on. Fokker Seer has completely messed up the chicane and he's, oh, he's blocked off Rayco there coming through. Yeah, no. he's, he's still kind of damaged, uh, obviously, from earlier. Yeah, that's nothing he could do there. Now. He should no hit his last lap for intermediates like everyone else did. Nothing that he could do there, but Danny is really catching to the back of these now. Yeah, he's only gained about a second, I think, already. Yeah, and yeah they're all in the, in the pit lane. Cargo's going to carry on. Interesting stuff. And he's done a little drift around the, first, around the final corner. And Cargo is going to carry on here in Miami. Uh, I don't know why he would. He was a potential P4 there. So I'm not really sure, Matt, what is going on here. But Joey is catching. Brocken's carried on as well. Earlier than what Jeff is saying. Oh, it's like Jeff. Uh, it's not just Jeff anymore. Uh, but, um, Mark. It's just obviously what Dinger's saying. Mark. Right, let's see yeah, what Danny's going to do. Let's see how many positions he's going to gain from all of this commotion. Up to P7. Up and to my phone's going off. Great stuff there. And he's to P7. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, they've gained so much time, Matt. Yeah, Joey. Uh, I think Cargo stayed out because of Villain. I didn't think Cargo was ahead of Villain. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, Matt. I don't know. I can't remember. Also Maybe Cargo well. wanted to lead the race. I'm a bit like that. You just want to, you just want to be in P1. Nah, I'd rather get the early stuff and then become in first place, not do the way around. Well, we'll see. We'll see. The gaps are very spaced out though now, Matt. I must say. It's because those holes have filled in with these last few people that haven't pitched yet. Why is Tyrone gone from another set of wets? Who? Tomans and Ficotcha both onto another set of wets. Interesting stuff. That's obviously the wrong choice. Either they've forgot to change it or they're just idiots. Okay, man, that's not very nice. Cargo's going to carry on for another lap. stays out. Cargo's going for another lap. Interesting stuff. He might, he might be trying to wait. Not wait for the go... He might try. No. He might, I don't know. He's, he's, been, he's, been, he's supposed to be overtaken by Matex already. He's already lost about 15 seconds, it looks like. 
Yeah, well, anyway, Crocken's in the pit lane. So, a set of intermediates for him. He's definitely fucked that strategy. Matex is already seven seconds of him. So much time he gains through here. Actually, mm. he's lost a bit of time through there to cargo. Oh, he's going to gain another tenth. DJ Danny is Danny now is up to P5, lap. and he is at the fastest lap tenth. of the race as There's well. Another tenth. Another tenth. Another tenth. He's just gained about four or five tenths through here. That's six tenths now. He's just gained through this section. And that's just one sector. He's gained about... Uh, Villain has really been gained. overtaken by Salvador. Salvador's up to P7 now. Yeah. Matex has just gained about a second just through that sector alone. So, Cargo needs to pit now. He has no choice. You can't stick it to slicks. It'd be too slow. Those tyres will start overheating. If it's going to be slicks, it won't be for another, probably for another about 10 laps, probably. Yeah, very he interesting stuff. Now. Interesting stuff from Cargo. Yeah. It, it'll be, if he's here on wet, went to slicks, he'll be in a lower position when he pits than what he did before he, before he even asked pitting in the first place. Joe, sorry, Matt. Joey and Vilen into the hairpinny type corner. Joey's going to go on the inside of here. I'm going to force him wide a little bit there. Yeah. I, call this, a... I call this the, 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 the Hanoi Vietnam section. That corner, these two corners there. The what? The Hanoi Vietnam corners, the turn one, turn two, and turn three. Uh, Hanoi. Vietnam. Twargo's in. in the pit lane. Yeah, yeah Matt, yeah, I know. I'm, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's gonna come out behind Danny Cook and Massive, Salvoy, massive maybe. mistake from Crago here tonight. Massive mistake. Joey's gonna play on Salvador. Crago's gonna come out around Salvador. Yes, he's gonna so have fresher tyres, but he's not really gonna be much of a deal because the intermediates don't really... Ah, to be fair though, Matt, he's still in P4. Yeah, he's in the right, but he's got his tyres warmed up without actually hitting the barriers, bloody hell. But Matt, but he DJ, lost Danny, time, look at him. He's had a great race. He's lost about, I, think he's lost, I think he's lost about three seconds, I think, because of that. So it has hurt him. But he's, he, 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 in one more lap longer, he would have been behind Danny and Crooken. So... I think he, maybe he's just doing that, maybe, maybe he's trying to stretch those wets so he can get a one stop, maybe. Possibly. But I don't think the internet's only last about 15 laps or something. 15 laps, maybe something. So I don't think they'll probably. They might make it, they might not. I don't know. I don't know how the tyre wears on those wet tyres. I don't know either, to be fair. I've never done a wet, wet running or anything. So, But yeah, Dio Danny's looking very quick, Matt, onto the back of um, Crago now. As Tom Cox picks up a time penalty. So I'm not going to help him in the long term. Love to see that. Crooken's going to get involved as well. He's P6. He's running, run a, run a great race so far today. Just about now controlling yeah, that car. Stays there. Keeping it on the track. Also, Matt, just submit while the gaps are calm. Uh, Rayco now is racing in tier two. Uh, he unfortunately can't race on Mondays no more, so we put him down tier two. He's, he's not doing too bad of a job at the moment. P11. He was definitely um, tier two driver, I do think. Um, he just can't, unfortunately, do Mondays now. But I think he'll try and uh, hopefully get some points, mate, in this race. But it's going to be difficult. He's got a Rusta, Villen, Salvador in front of him. So it's going to be quite a difficult uh, difficult for him. But yeah, obviously, we'll see. no DRS. So. And it's still raining at the moment, so no time of it stopping. So it's not going to dry up anytime soon. Not for at least the next five or six laps or something. If it's going to stop raining now, we might maybe get to select maybe about five laps to go. Depends. Or depends and there's when the a yellow comes flag. Yeah, flags. It's a has. A drippo into the pit lane. I think he's going to retire from this year. Yeah, he's out of the race. Yeah. It all started from that core disqualification and qualifying. Yeah. Uh, it never went out after him. Absolutely. Shouldn't disaster. be really going so that slow in the first place, to be honest. So that's going to be his fault, unfortunately. Absolute disaster. Uh, for Kopcha also messed up that strategy. Onto a set Danny's, of Inter's ears. Danny's right back at Cargo. Danny, but Danny's sitting in the fastest lap earlier. So Danny's on pace here. He's faster than Cargo at the moment. So Danny showing that when you're right about Danny's pace on the wet conditions, he is quicker. He's crack high cooking and doing very well. In these conditions right now, he's basically put a chain in the back of that Alpine and just tugged him along. And Juan, he's in the lobby. Oh, you can't race much. Uh, for DJ Darnie. 
Okay, the main text sends us faster away. Yeah, away, main so text is main text is doing a mena. <laughs> um, Rooster then on the back of the lane. Oh, inside. Oh, oh it's a bit on the stair. Oh, it's pushing wide. Oh, yeah, that was that was a bit aggressive there from the Alpha Tauri. He's got the move done. He's up to P9. I was playing with how I did at the start, but I think I have to script the strategy a little bit. He's uh, lost there about four places again. Oh, he's almost hit the back of the Alpha Tauri. Might have been a little bit of a scrape, but there was definitely almost some contact. Yeah, and Rayco's going to get involved as well. Saying that Cargo has actually pulled a bit of time on Deja Jenny. He's pulled away about half a second. So, what does that happen to there? Unless Cargo has just had a really good sector, or Danny's had a mistake, and Cargo and um, Cooking just got affected by it. Fargo's running a good race at the moment. Yes. Uh, Are you yeah, tired there, Matt? Sorry, just, Are you tired, yeah? yeah I just, I, I've, I've done 30k steps today, so... Oh, have you? Oh, have you? Oh. Anyway. That's uh, a yeah, shame, Cargo's, isn't it? Cargo's um, oh, obviously looking quite racy. I think he's just about got his rhythm in on his intermediates. Obviously, the wets and the, and the inters... He needs a bit of different driving styles. Wets, you can you wets, you just have to be very cautious. But these intermediates, you can't afford to be cautious. You need to push on these intermediates um, to get the pace out of them. To be fair, Matt, as well, he's actually catching clever a little bit as well. Of course, yeah. four tenths in that section, and Crookens right on Danny's chop now. Come on, Crago, on for the podium. Come on, keep pushing. That's what Cro Crookens going to do. I always forget, Matt, uh, that the red light comes up. Progress uh, is the race. Crago F1 on the pace. Hey, up. Watch out for Crago. Jerry Cro has to up. Watch out for Crago, Matt. Hey, up. But, um, Jerry just, Jerry's just beating that, so... Yeah, Jerry's going to be on the pace as well. But uh, I always forget, Matt, that the red light in the rain means that it's wet. Yeah. You know, I, I, I always... Yeah. Because you taught me that it's a, when the, the, the ERS yeah. is gone, it, I always think that it's ERS you, is gone. You but. lose that in the. You lose that in the oh, Cook has made a mistake. So. Cook has made a mistake there yeah. around that corner. So he's lost a bit of time. But uh, I'm really intrigued to see what Quago's doing here because he is. Oh, looking he's quick. made another wheel. Oh, Cook has another. Oh, oh snap that's going to be Jerry on the back of him. It. That's going to be Jerry on the back of him. Jerry's using that ERS. Jerry hasn't really got the ERS, though, has he? He's going to go to the inside. I think he is. I think I can use more ERS. Why In, think I can not defend that? Into the stadium. They really tried to wreck the cave. The they really tried to wreck the, wreck the stadium section. It's not the stadium section. The stadium is like the other side of the circuit. Well, what the fuck was that? The baseball section then. You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean, Matt. Okay. The baseball, there's the circuit. There's the, 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 Right, Matt, we've actually got a battle on our hands perfect. here because our good friend Quago could potentially be battling for P3 here, so shut your mouth. Okay, stop being a STV Okay. There's one for P10 here. Well, actually, yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah, look at Physico down the straight here, look at that. Oh, Ooh, a bit of contact down the straight, that was a bit like you and Kevin yesterday as they come through and safety car has been deployed. Safety car has been deployed. Yeah. Full safety car. I'm not sure that's who that's for. What it's for. Um, trying to see if anyone with a missing foot wing. But I don't see anyone with a missing foot wing at the moment. Yeah, so that's what it's for. Safety car's letting everyone through. Rooster has lagged I out. The, oh, what under this case got a fighting have a two doing a flag. So it's finally letting them through. Too late now. Hold on a moment. Are there people going? I wonder if people going to pit for another set of inters to try and get them to the end. That slicks on that thing. What is just Tiafilo with no foot wings? So Tiafilo, the then here we fucking go. It's still raining. What the hell is he doing? Tiafilo, here we fucking go. We're not even close to dry conditions. It's still raining. Here we go, Tiafilo. He's going to bin it here. Three, two, one, and he's into the road. He's taking it very cautiously. <laughs> but yeah, he's 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 a, he's a dead man. Okay, Matt, God, calm down. Oh, yeah. Come on, Tia Theo, anyway. come on. He's locked up into there. Right, Krago is in a great position here, Matt. All he needs to do is not go on to set slicks. 
Yeah, I know it's tempting to to try and get a free pit stop, but just it's just not. You yeah, should just lose don't all do that it. Time again. Just don't do it, Cargo. Don't don't. And if you're gonna do this. it, you gotta do it later on. Don't fuck this, Cargo. Tom Cat, Tom Cox, and Matex staying out. So he's staying out. Cargo, staying yeah, out. Yeah, everyone's staying so out. He's also gonna. He's also gonna get, um, also gonna get Shari back into the race as well. Well, he's probably just gonna bin it again. The race is one more mission there. Oh, Tiafilo, <laughs> he can't make the corner. Even though he breaks about 50. Come on, Tiafilo! Come on! It's hard to be different. It's on the hard as well. So that's going to be even <laughs> more. It's even worse. Oh, yellow flag. I mean, there's yellow flag everywhere, but that's not the point. Busy coach in the pits. Oh, you Tiafilo, you loser. And that attraction out of that twist. Uh, Physico there. is onto a set of intermediates. Yeah, it's just not ready for the slicks at all. No, it's, it's not going to be another 5, maybe 10 laps. Like I said, it's still raining. So you can't even gauge it. Oh, he's, he's not even make this. Come on, Tia Theo! Come on! Look at him going around the final he's corner. He's sure he's in the pit. Well, I'm boxed. That's where he ends. Yeah. Yeah, he's pitting. Yeah, he's realised yeah. a big mistake, yeah. Yeah, he's fucked that. He's fucked that completely. He's going to leave this to Shari. Yeah, Shari's oh, doing that. Oh, AI was struggling. Great stuff. <laughs> and on to number seven. Might not even catch up here at this rate. They're already going through the final sector, nearly getting lap mat, so. I mean. <laughs> Very yep. difficult here. You can see yellow flag as Matt's yawning again. Obviously, finding this race extremely boring. Finding my company extremely boring, guys. I've um, been up since five o'clock, yeah. Yeah, Matt's been up since five o'clock, guys. Yeah. Well, Every morning. Well, well, yeah. Well, I went to bed at 4 a.m. last night, Matt. So <laughs> I was in bed at half past 11. And we all know we all know what I was doing till that time. Um, no, we don't. I, it wasn't anything rude, Matt. You just got a dirty mind. I thought I was. No, the one I wasn't talking about that. I'm just saying we wouldn't have a clue anyway, because God knows what you're doing in four. We know you could be on bloody TikTok or something. TikTok. STB Maddie on TikTok. Oh, don't have a TikTok. Thank you very much. Man is a <laughs> STB Maddie is a professional man. Tom oh, Turman's in the pits. Then I do have an oh, Instagram though, guys. If anyone's watching, if anyone watching has an Instagram, you can follow me up there. I'll give you the link on Discord. Anyway, Matex is leading the Grand Prix. What are you on about, Matt? Bit of, you know, shameless promotion. It's kind of a good thing we've got a Mercedes here to go after this. It's a race. great it's thing when we have Martin 10 was... viewers that I can promote my Instagram to. Love it. Anyway, uh, second is Tom Cox. Love that name, I do. Uh, third is Clever. But obviously, he's not been a very clever uh, man during this race. He's picked up a time penalty. Uh, fourth is Crago. Uh, fifth is Danny. Sixth, Joey. Seventh, Crook. And eighth, Salvador. Decent, uh, decent performance so far from him. Ninth Rooster. I haven't really spoken about him much, Matt. Um, yeah, he liked that earlier. So. He couldn't race in Australia, if you remember. He had that uh, that glitch at the start where he lagged out and then couldn't make it to the race and then was yeah. disqualified and was that was just awful. Uh, tenth is Villain. Eleventh is Reiko on his uh, first... Well, he's returned to Tier 2, actually. That is FXBR Jonna from back in the day. So... He is returning back to tier two. Second, twelfth is uh, Focaccia. I was about to say Focaccia, but that's not his name. Thirteenth, Physico. Fourteenth is Shari, of course, and Tia Fio. We've actually been calling him Tia Filo, but because he's Spanish, Matt, it's Tia Fio. Needs to like get hurry on though, Matt. Yeah, he was like a minute and a half behind him. Yeah, <laughs> so, well, if he didn't box for hard, we'd be get we would be getting racing. Yeah, we would we would be getting racing. Shari's so. still there, isn't he? Yeah, just we'd still have to wait for Shari anyway. Yeah, the race was going on uh, next lap. They would catch up. Wow, very interesting. It's very interesting gear selection, Shari. Um, Matt, any changes to your prediction of Maytex winning this race? No, Maytex, I think, still has this in the bag, I think. He and wasn't still the... no sign of this rain stopping. He wasn't this quick last week in Australia, though. I think it depends on the track, really. Yeah. 
Uh, we'll see if we'll have some. Matt, own, can you stop uh, yawning, please? Because you're making me yawn. It's very. <laughs> Everyone has their own preference. It's like I it's... say, I wasn't very, I'm not very quick around here. It's unprofessional, Matt, to be yawning on the STV official live stream. Right, I'm you need sorry, to start it's now. It's like nine o'clock at night. I've been awake. It's not nine o'clock at night. It's eight hours. It's, no, it's eight fifty-six in the UK. Oh, sorry, Mister Pedanti. Okay, well, calm down, Matty. Okay, don't right. get angry just because there's no racing. I am quite sorry myself, three. though. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Tom Cox is going to be right on Matex's chart. That's very sus to say, but uh, everyone knows what we mean. As long as not go into the back of anyone, it's good. And, uh, it yeah, but I don't. But I don't think uh, Mr. Cox is going to. Um, well, I don't even no, know if that's his name, there. but Tom Cox is going to be able to. Uh, to get to the back right. there. Tia Theo, come on round the chicane. Here we go. We're just, you know, making it, yeah, you know, making it difficult for everyone, you know. Making everyone wait. He, he's literally going to get to the back as we start that. We are gearing up then for the start of the Miami Grand Prix. I keep saying Saudi Arabia. We're going to say Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Saudi Arabia was like three weeks ago. Here we go then, Matt. We're gearing up for the restart. The sun is trying to come out. The rain. Is it's still raining. Oh, I've been in a fight for collision with Rooster. That was rapid, Matt. Anyway, we're giving up. It was starting. <laughs> we're going. We're racing, Matt, in, in Miami. I was about to say oh, Saudi no! Arabia again. Oh, Matex nearly pinned it. That was the last corner, and Tom Cox is out, outside of him. Oh, here we go. Okay, hold up. Oh, drop. Oh, drop. Tom Cox is right on his job. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Matt. Here we go. I'm getting excited now. Come on, Tom Cox. Oh, Danny, he's left three wide oh. into the corner. Oh my god, that's Joey nearly killing Danny up the inside there. We know Danny's aggressive, Matt, but whoa. Yeah, but he's not only aggressive the other way around, but you know. I oh, know. Trying to die, trying to kill them all through that corner there. Go to kill them all. Oh, there's a massive crash. That's Rooster. He's in the wall. Yeah, he's messed that up completely. Yeah. Massive oh, tank slapper, massive tank slapper there, Matt, and he lost his end plate. He lost his front wing there, and the Williams trying to find up, uh, find a way up the inside. If I was him, I piff another set of inters and then just go to the end. If it doesn't dry, just whether these interviews can go to the end is, is a big question mark. Inters don't really last that long. They last, they tend to last about the same distance as we as the medium compounds generally. That's from my previous experiences. Right, come on, Tom Cox. Matt, I bet you, I bet you get really, um, you get some, uh, some flashbacks, don't you, when when you see the drivers go down the back straight into the final corner. No. Oh. Anyway, Cockens lost position to Salvador. Bet you shit yourself. Mythic has done the fast lap of the race, but Tom Cox is. Staying right up his Come rear. on, Tom Cox, no. you can get the DRS. Come on. Oh, DRS wait. Out. I wonder, Matex is probably using 120 FPS. Does that mean that the rain falls heavier for him? Uh, that's not the case, Malby. <laughs> I'm joking. It might, come anyway. down, it might come down a lot more. Uh, quicker. I guess. Well, no, it doesn't make it quicker. Yeah, it does. It's oh, I'll oh, drop talking fluid. about quicker. Got a bit of battles going on up here. We've got Physico Shari. That's going to be a crash nearly. Between the two Alpha Tauris. We've got Tia Fio. Oh, God. I don't like this, Matt. Oh. This is scary. Oh, this, is a, this, is a, this is a dodgy one, especially with no, with a damaged front wing. Or oh, even Tia Fio trying to get involved as well. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, like no, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Side by side. This is great racing in Tia 2. Here we go. Side by side. Look at this. The Aston Martin trying to go on the inside. And now Shari's made a mistake. And look at that. That's Shari up to P12. That's Oh, that's incredible. Rooster made a mistake. Not oh, Shari. Side by side into the chicane. Right. Who would have thought we could do that? Oh, look at that. That was incredible. And Cry goes within five tenths now of Clever. 
Make some great clever use of the intermediates there. Get the oh, most grip out of the car. Danny's in the pits. Danny's in the pits then. She's going to try and go on, I think, well, yeah, a set of inters and the... TFVO's nearly at the back of the Aston Martin there. Salvador's also in the pits. No, screw that. Put some set of mediums on. There we go. Huh? Is it dry enough? That's the question. What? I don't think it is, though. Are you it's pissed? It's still raining. Danny's on yeah, six as well. Are really you pissed? <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Cargo has a bit of time to collect. Are you blazed? Medium. DOS is not even enabled either. DOS is not really good indication. What? Dry enough. They're going to lose time here, surely. Are you? Are you pissed? Oh, he's, he's gaining time on Rusa. Yeah, but Rusa's got, got damage, damage Matt. That don't matter, does yeah. it? Yeah, I don't know. I should have already cut myself before you even corrected me. Are you mad? We'll me see what Matex does. He's he not dropping off a clip. He's not losing lots of time, though, but he is losing a bit. Oh, well, the rain hasn't even stopped falling yet. It's still spitting. I would have I would have thought the intermediates could do more laps than that, though. That's for sure. I mean, I'm sure the intermediates can do about 15 laps, easy. I would have thought so. There's still, the there's still minutes. visible. There's like, still raindrops falling there. Of wet on the Main track. Main thing out. Tom Cox, Tom Cox is going into the pits. Are you blazed? Cleaver stays out. Tom Cox is in the pits, like I said. Are these drivers, the Matt? Are these drivers the actually pits. blazed? Crookens in. Vlens in. Right. Rayco's in. What the? What's going on? Shah is in. Fisco's in. Tiafilo's in. It must be just about dry enough. It does to be honest. It does look drier. It's still raining, but it does look drier. Let's see then. Shah reset of mediums. Are you blazed? I think the track's drying. Danny's on the fast purple last sector. Set a sauce for cooking. That's gonna be a, it's gonna be quick, but it's whether you get them to the end is another question. Come on, cooking! He's gonna see oh, those Matt, cars Quaggo, more Quaggo, nicely. Quaggo and Joey, Quaggo and Joey, Quaggo and Joey, clever! Oh my God, Quaggo's on the inside of the corner. Oh. Kind yeah, of backed gonna, out of that yeah, very smartly. Gonna, yeah, back out of that one, side by side for Joey and Clever. That's a great little clever move there from Clever. Well, it's not, because it's just lots of us. Joey and Joey's made a mistake. Oh, it's going to be tight. I don't like it when they go side through here. And Carlos <laughs> just got the weight. <laughs> Is it going to be tight? Sorry. Oh, ah. Carlos around the outside. Come on, Craggy! Come on, Craggy! Oh, he pinched into the barriers. Yeah, Craggy! Uh, yeah, Matt, I think Joey, the rain Carlos has stopped falling. The rain has stopped falling here in Miami, Matt. It has. The sun is peaking out now. Here we go. Matex is in. Matex is in. DRS enabled. DRS enabled. They're all going to be in. Where is Tom Cox and Danny going to be in all of this? And Crooken as well. Crooken's down to P8 Crooken now. With DRS. Crooken with DRS now. Open for Salvador. Where's Tom oh, Cox going to be? Through. Where is Tom Look Cox going to be? Matex Crooken's, in the pit lane. Crooken's going to be 90% ERS and he's just breezed past him like it's nothing. Tom Cox is in the pits. Is that oh, yeah. Idiots? Wait, what? He pitted his things immediately, so now he's come back home for slicks. That's what he's Wait, is Danny going to lead? The main text is out. The uh, main text is way ahead of him. Oh, dear. He's behind Joey. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's came ahead of Cargo as well. Oh, ahead of Cargo, yeah. Oh, Danny, side actually, by guys, side with Joey, really Matt. Soft. Yeah, main text has definitely won this race. Side by side. Danny's oh, no, got the move. Danny's got the move yeah, done. I'm surprised these guys actually didn't go for softs because they could do nine laps at the end, ten laps at the end. Like I said, they're going to be that's going to be a still stretching it. Come on, Crooken. Crooken really has to have to really take advantage of these tyres. He needs to he needs to be more aggressive in that ERS just wants to get in DRS. South Dorse just stayed in DRS and out. Jerry's in a good position here for a good podium. Cleaver's obviously now compromised with that. Penalties really put himself in a dodgy situation. And T. Villa picks up another penalty. The fight with uh, Villain. Yeah, Villain's round. Make contact. Yeah, Villain and TFE. Um... As Sweet is a bit further behind, obviously, with that front wing damage. That's a change this front wing at some point. 
Uh, what's happened to Tom Cock? Because he was literally on for a P turn. He, he went intermediate, so they're going to slicks. Well so done, Tom. To well done. Again. Well done. Great stuff. Absolute great stuff. Great scenes. That's what, that's what we love to see. People fucking up their strategies. He's not going to fuck up this move, though. He's up to P12. Cooking is on the pace. The thing is, now he's got four cars of. Come on, Quacken! Come on! Quacken's on for the top five at least here with Cleveland Come on, Quacken! Cap is also uh, dropping Bruce as well between Matex and Danny. Matt, Danny's got some decent pace on Matex as well. That gap does need to come down. And Shaw is on for some uh, some points as well, Matt, in this race. If he can try and keep it on the track, but Krago's going to be in the slipstream, and Joey's also going to be in the slipstream of DJ Danny. So I need to play this play this call, cool, Matt. And he's going to defend. He's going to push Joey off the circuit. There, great stuff there from Danny. He's also now going to try and defend the position. So Joey got the inside. Be aggressive again. Lose time to Matex. Yeah, that's lovely stuff there from Danny. Yeah, love that. Yeah. Great stuff. Jerry's off the circuit and Fargo is going to be side by side. Oh, bloody hell. That was some scary stuff there, Matt. He's and lost Cooken. a lot of time to Danny here. Cooken's got front row seats and now uh, Jerry's, Jerry doesn't got, have DRS. Jerry's got no ERS as well. DRS. Yeah, yeah, he's 1%. Got his red light on. Fargo in a P3. Look at that. Well, here we go. Let's see now. Interesting here. He needs his advantage. He's going to go overdrive. On here we go. He has to do it. Yeah, on the inside. Then you got Jerry on the inside oh, of Craig. But Cargo's going to get the better move around the outside. He gets up the P3. Look at that. So Cargo really had to outbreak Cleaver there. He had the tyres to do it, and he's not, he left break too early. Now he's lost a lot of time now. Staying behind Cleaver for longer and Jerry flags. That's uh, Shari unable to drive. Shari again. Yeah, he's out. He's going to retire from the race. If he doesn't, then he's a... Uh... Cooking going to be two seconds up the road now. But he's Because he's not over to Cleaver. He broke too early into turn one. It's just allowed Cleaver to go right around the outside of him. Uh, Cooking, he, he can't be... He can't play... He can't play conservative because those tyres are going off very quickly. They don't last very long with soft though. Very, very quick. Compared to the mediums, much quicker than the mediums and much, much quicker than the hard. Uh, about 1.6, 2.2, about over a second faster than the mediums when fresh. Danny's struggling. Krago is on the pace, mate, here in Miami. He has to be careful, though. But DJ Danny, we know what DJ Danny's like, Matt. Look at the position on Cleaver. Check Krago's up into P5. He keeps running wide though at the hair. Krago side by side. Oh. Here we go, Danny. Up the inside again. Oh, and no, Krago's hit. been I'm hit. The back of Krago. Yeah, Krago's been hit there. I don't know if he's got damage though, Matt. Nah, I think he'll be away with that. If he reduce damage, it should be, it should be fine. Uh, that's VLEN, I think, round... Alright, here we go. It's going to be DRS again, Matt. Could Matex. Sure he's struggling on those softs already. Those tyres yeah. are probably overheating if he hasn't adjusted his tyre pressures. Uh, watch out for Cooking as well. He's got a lot more ERS to play with. Oh, Danny. Pushing Krago. Krago, be careful. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 Oh, this Come is on, some, some scary stuff. Oh my god, look at this train, Matt. This is crazy. <laughs> Come oh, on, Crooken! Gap now to Matex. 5.9 seconds, and Danny's back on up the inside. Joey's going to be on it as well. Be patient, Crooken. Yeah, wait for these guys to take each other out because it's oh, going to happen. Round. Jerry's turning on in here, Miami Grand he's, Prix, he's, he's got wing gone. damage! Free position for Crooken. 
and that's one car less for Danny and Krago. Yeah, he's got that completely there. Come on, Craggy! Uh, all those times he could have spun that, he spun it in dry. Come on, Craggy! Physico's retired shut from the up. session. Why are you telling me shut up, Matt? It's Craggy! Oh, so, yeah, cook, come on, cooking! You fast than that? I think it's Tyler. And Reiko going side by side in the first section. Yeah, I'm looking at Chargo's steel, cooking steel wheel, and his tyres are just tipping over 100 degrees. It's just bad. But uh, he's losing a lot of time there. I think his tyres are already going off here. Here we go, Matt Chargo and Danny going side by side again through the second sector. Oh, well, that's Dutch! What is Danny doing? He's just hitting the side of Chargo. There's going to be there's going to be a collision map between these two. There is going to be a collision. There is going to be a collision. Danny is way too aggressive, especially track like this. Right then, here so we right, go. Looks like Hungary or Britain, but yeah. here we go. Quite another DRS again. Yellow flag in the second sector. Come on, Crago. Crocken's going for the move here. He's got some overspeed on Krago. Oh no, 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 my god, Matt, this is incredible. Yeah, Crocken's not going to get the move done just yet. Krago's going to try and get the DRS back onto Danny. Look, Crocken, look at the pace that he's got, Matt, on those soft tyres. He's scary, Matt. going off in a couple laps. The soft will hit a cliff at some point. Yeah, definitely. Come on, Krago, you're on for a podium here tonight. Keep it calm. Keep it steady. Keep it on the track. My old tier 3 rival, Matt. On for a podium in tier 2. Let's not jinx Cleavers, it, though. Couldn't really struggle to that first Come on, there. clever! He's on the softs. Be clever! He's not been clever with his ERS, though, Matt. Look at that. 3% now as they come down the, uh, the back straight. And... Krago again. again, yeah, Krago again, but watch out for Danny, he's going to try and get it on the inside, yeah, there you go. So Danny's gone himself, wide. In that side, but the inside line has a better line around here, it just Come is. Come on, fucking hell, gee it's whiz. It's just a short route. And there's been a spin, Jerry Span again. It's here, he, goes, he spins twice and he does it in the dry on top right, of Right, Matt, here we go, Krago's going to have the DRS again down the straight, here we go. Wing flap open now. Both got similar ERS. Danny tries to break the slipstream, but Krago's got that DRS. Danny's have the inside line though, but the outside is a bit on traction. Come on, Danny. It would be great though to see Krago. Oh my god. Lap 27, Krago's up the DRS again. Watch out for Krago, Matt, he's on. Oh, there's been contacts on the apex oh. there, Matt, and Danny's going to try to go run around the outside, but Krogo's on the inside. Don't eat that curb, That's my friend. Cut, that was. Don't eat that curb, you'll and spin. Oh, they were Krogo going on the outside then for a second. Matt, this, this, this is what I'm talking about. This is crazy. Right, Krogo's going to have the DRS again. What are you doing? Oh, what, he's on the inside. What are you doing that for? He's lost the DRS. Oh, there's no. been oh, they've turned into each other. What did I say, Matt? There's been a collision. There has been a collision. They've turned into each other. Danny has lost. I think he's got some yet. Yeah, Danny's lost his whole front wing now. So Danny Cargo. has lost his whole front wing here in Cargo's, Miami. Cargo's lost the end plate. So Cargo's got some damage out of that. But Danny's yeah, came his, out worse. I don't know what was going on there. They just start kind of turning each other. Um, where the wall kind of sticks out. And Crooken is now in P2 in this Grand Prix. Hey, well, Danny's still faster than Cliff around there, even without a front wing. You might even say, I won't be surprised if Danny stays out with no front wing, to be honest. I mean, it is Danny, isn't it? So. Probably lose less, they probably lose less time, and you've got three laps left for this. Yeah, Krago is literally on for a podium, Matt, though. It just looked like that Danny just squeezed Krago. I don't know if that was the one that was the other way around. No, Krago was the inside one, I think Krago was the one that squeezed him. So, I don't know, we need to see uh, some Rooster really Stewart's there. If I was Cargo, I'd stay out. Yeah. Oh, and now Williams round, that's for Kutcher. The Kutcher's round, everyone's been in it now, Maori. We love to see it. We love to see it in Miami. Salvador's P4, look at this. But Crooken's got this P2 in the bag, I think, as long as he doesn't get a penalty. Danny's in the pits. 
it's another race Sorry, where he has lost to points, Tom man. Cox, but Tom Cox has got a, a, Tom Cox has got pounds there. Come on, Quargo. Keep it on the track. That is an absolute disaster, though, Matt, for Quargo. I was really rooting for him, you know. Really rooting for him. And you was probably too, but Salvador, Matt. Yes, he has a penalty. Three, but it's Clever time also to to... has a penalty as well. So if you can try, if yeah. you can get past the, the fin. And Raiko's too far behind. And you realize you have flags, that's Vila and again. If Salvador could. Um, Get past clever here. We could be seeing his first podium. Those softs and cooking, they're going to be soft. They're going to be worn now, very worn. They're coming to the end of their life. They are. It's just got to do two more laps on these tyres, but they're already going to be about six. I wouldn't be surprised those tyres are about seventy, about sixty-five, seventy percent now. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they were back on board with Tom Cox here, but his tyres are going to start falling off away soon as well. Yeah, Tom Cox really trying to get the most out of the track here and just can't really get the pace. But he needs, Clever's gone a little bit wide around there, but he can get away with that. And he's right on the back of Crooken now, Matt. I think Crooken's tyres have gone. Yeah, those tyres soft. Oh, I think he's got penalties, though. He's got the penalties. Compared to the others. And he has Come to on, Crooken. Cleaver doesn't have any ERS. He just he doesn't know how to save it. And he just can't overtake. It's ERS management is hurting Cleaver. Can't overtake on the straight with the US that low. You just can't overtake. Salvador's and got some. Has to use to overtake because he's quick in the straights anyway, with even without him to use it. Oh, that's a lot of. Mm. What's happening there? Someone span. Like it's a he's losing time himself here. His tires, I think. Rakocha span less. again. Rakocha span again. Tom Cox is trying to get past Cargo. Mm. I said, longer it lasts, the harder it is going to get for Tom Cox. I think Salvador's going to have to try and, need to try and get the move done on Clever here, Matt. He is on for a podium here in Miami. Tom Cox is just quite high downforce here, and it's not really working out for him at the moment. I'm really rooting for Salvador here. Really rooting for Salvador. Well, it's, it's battles Clever and uh, yeah. Yeah, he's just if he get cooking. if he gets past if he gets past uh, Clever here, as I like he's got calling, a podium. He is. Got a podium. I he don't know. He's got Crooken, he's very slow on his Come tires. Come on, his tires Crooken! Aren't very well. He's P2. understeering like mad. Those Look tires are eight. gone. Those tires have done almost have done ten and a half laps now. They, they said they can only do about nine. So those tires are going to be, I'm going to say, about eighty-five percent now. I'm going to say those tires are. Come Roughly. on, Crooken! Those Come on, Crooken! Gone. I mean, he's, he's, got, he's got the pace down the straight, and Focaccia has yeah, retired. Yeah, he's, he's got the ERS, I and mean, like, Cleaver hasn't got, the, hasn't got the ERS. Yeah, I don't think Salvador's yeah. got this map. Unless Cleaver's yeah. got more penalties than Salvador. I think, I think Cleaver has two penalties. I think he does. Oh, we're gonna find I'm pretty out. sure I saw a second penalty off him. And Tom Cox has lost places. He's dropped yeah, the place there's been a, to Rooster. Yeah, there's been a collision in the middle sector. And Cookin luckily has enough grip on those rear tyres, the, the front tyres that they're beating. But anyway, Matex coming across line, Maldi. Matex wins the Miami Grand Prix, but second is your podium, is your uh, reigning champ, sorry. It's your podium. <laughs> your podium, well, you're, yeah, your podium, and your reigning champion. Cookin is second. Who's going to be P3, though? Is it going to be Clever or is it going to be Salvador? It is. Salvador! Yep, I thought so. I podium. thought he had an extra penalty. And it's just there. Reiko on his return back to STB tier 2 is P5. Crocker's P5. So Crocker's P6 in the end. Rooster's 7th. 8th is Tom Cox. 9th is Tio Fio. And 10th is going to be DJ Danny. Is he going to pick up Fassi Slap? No. Well, I'm Vilen. Jerry after about 500 million spins on the slicks. He's, he's worse in the dry than he is in the wet, Jerry. Okay, man, that's a whole violation there. Oh, and he's even spun it across the line for good measure, and he's got a violation penalty as well. 
Shari then, Shari. another disappointing result for him. He's not been able later. to place his car in good positions. He's just been involved in a lot of stupid collisions, really. Um, see what he says after the Grand Prix. But Villain then is going to come around the final corner. He's going to be in P13. Disaster for him here in Miami. But that is your Miami Grand Prix. Not a bad race, that match. Some good battles in the, in the, uh, after the safety car. But again, that was some some uh, carnage there. And it involved DJ Danny once again. That wasn't shade, by the way. That was just me telling the truth. Jeff Hope moaning about audio glitches. Bam, um, there you go. Cargo says he has no words. No, well, quickly has some words because he's just put no words. But, yeah. What's that then? Still 10 people on this stream, are they? So they're here to watch the interviews, possibly. That is your podium for the Miami Grand Prix. Let's see. Look at this champagne. Love it. Yeah, at the Hard Rock Stadium. Love that. First, then, is Matex. We can't interview him because he's on the PC. So, there you go. Uh, second is Crook. And third is Salvador in the end. Fourth is Clever. Fifth is Reiko, who's apparently finished. That's interesting. Sixth is Cargo. Seventh is Rooster. Eighth is Tom Cox. Ninth is Tia Fio. Tenth is DJ Danny. Eleventh uh, is EXR Joey. Twelfth is Shari. Thirteenth is Villain. 14th is Fakotcha, 15th Physico, 16th Toman, 17th Drapo, and 18th Alex Tur. And Fakotcha was your first retirement, but he will be uh, classified uh, as he retired on lap 27. Okay, then we're going to go to uh, P3 man Salvador first for the interview. Uh, Hello. Salvador, hola. Uh, hola. <laughs> uh, you will you will have to do the interview in English, but uh, you'll you'll be okay. Uh, make sure okay. the audio is included. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Salvador, you ran a very good race here this evening. Uh, a podium. Just uh, tell us uh, in few words briefly. Um, how your race went today? Man, I I deserve it. I deserve it. I it <laughs> cost me a lot. <laughs> I have back lag in all the races, and this is my reward. I am so happy. Thank you, uh, Salvador. Uh, Crooken. Yes, mate. Uh, <sighs> Reigning champion, uh, obviously yeah. <laughs> you fucked it in Bahrain, uh, I think you fucked it in Saudi, and yeah. you may have fucked it, I, I don't really know to be fair. But enough for the <laughs> swearing, uh, how are your, how are you feeling ahead, uh, well, after that race, it was a pretty interesting one. Uh, yeah, thanks for your was, race. Um, that was and... crazy. It was a crazy race. Um, yeah, I had no grip in that wet, I just, yeah, no traction at all, and, um, yeah, I, I knew I took a gamble on the setup and uh, it it just wasn't happening. During quality, just couldn't get the laps together. Um, and then during the first stint on the race when it was wet, it was ridiculous. I had no traction. Um, I couldn't. I was making mistakes. I've got front wing damage. Um, but when we transitioned over to drives, I managed to get the... Um, <laughs> I put zero wings on basically, and I was a demon along the straights. And um, I did go for the wrong tyre. I should have went for the mediums, but uh, I had the softs, and I just hung on to near the end. Um, but yeah, great to see Salvador on the podium as well because he has had a lot of bad luck recently. So um, uh, shout out to him. Thank you, mate. No problems. <laughs> okay, well, thank you um, to you. Thing. Give me one moment. Matt, any thoughts on that race? Just a bit a bit hectic at times. But <laughs> but definitely entertaining at times, but obviously the wet's definitely uh, made it interesting for sure. 
Okay, thank you, Matt. So then that concludes your STB Racing League season, about to say season 19 then. Season um, 21. 21. 21. <laughs> Even yeah. Crooker knows it. I'm confused because I'm doing something at the moment. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, your season 21 Miami Grand Prix, where uh, Matex uh, comes back and gets uh, P1 pretty dominantly, but uh, his rivals were involved in a few mishaps during that race. Do join Mafio tomorrow for the TF3 Miami Grand Prix, where I'm going to be getting my fourth top five finish um of the season it's been a pretty good one so we'll, we'll see how we can do in miami tomorrow uh but if not then you can join us next week for round five where you'll be able to see <coughs> mafio winning in tier one when we go to the imola circuit uh for the emilia romagna grand prix we'll see you next time <laughs>